Captain America, The Winter Soldier. That's a movie worth seeing. And it's, it's kind of tragic when Marvel comic books does a better job with typology than the makers of Noah. Uh, play that clip, Lane. We're gonna neutralize a lot of threats before they even happen. Thought the punishment usually came after the crime. S.H.I.E.L.D. takes the world as it is, not as we'd like it to be. This isn't freedom. This is fear. I, I, I have to tell you, it was one of the most intense movies that I have seen. And the political, ethical message of the movie was tremendous. Captain America saying that people are going to die and I can't let that happen. So here we have, that's the Good Samaritan. That's also being a type of Christ, all right? And in the end of the movie, he actually says, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to kill the bad guy because the bad guy is my friend, a type of Christ again. Greater love has no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. And then in Romans chapter 5, it says that Christ died for us when we were his enemies. Okay? So, it was just, it was a great movie. But the political message, right? The, c coming away from that. And by the way, they didn't use the, the Lord's name in vain. There were no illicit sex scenes. It was just great entertainment. The reason that I probably would not take small, young children is because the amount of information, the data, the, the sound was so overwhelming at points. I felt like I was overdosing on adrenaline when the movie ended. So we'll watch it on DVD as a family when it comes out. But there were great political lines, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and spoil the movie for you. If, you. if you don't want me to spoil the movie, now you can turn it off. But Hydra, if you've watched the first one, was birthed out of the Nazis. The message of the movie was that the Obama administration, the NSA, the people that are involved in spying on us right now, that they are the ideological heirs of the Nazis. Now you want to you compare Noah with its pablum and its pathetic PC earth worship message to the timely message of Captain America that our liberties are being threatened. And, and one thing that was really interesting about Captain America was that he, as a World War II soldier who was frozen and then came back, he is not going to allow tyranny and fear to prevail. He actually, Captain America actually turns on S.H.I.E.L.D. itself because he realizes that HYDRA, which, is, which has become a part of S.H.I.E.L.D., that they are bent on oppression and fear as a means of keeping order. And he, as the World War II guy, says, no, that's not what we fought and died for. What, you, what we did then was to stop tyranny. What you're doing now is to infuse tyranny and to establish tyranny. He said, the price of freedom is high and I'm willing to pay it. You told me to not trust anyone and this is how it ends. That's when he went after uh, Director Fury and said, we're bringing down not only Hydra, but we're bringing down S.H.I.E.L.D. S.H.I.E.L.D. is the NSA. S.H.I.E.L.D. is the spying apparatus here in the United States that is allegedly there for our, for our security. And that theme was over and over in the movie that if people become so frantic for security that they will surrender their freedom. And Captain America helped expose that and said, no, we're not going to let that happen and brought it down. So. I encourage you to go see the movie. There's other stuff that I'd like to tell you about, but we're out of time. Um, he said one line I want to tell you, and then we'll, we'll take a break. He said, Cap, the bad guy in the movie, he said, Captain, in order to build a better world, sometimes means turning the old one upside down, and that makes enemies. That is what the Obama administration and their collaborators in the Republican Party are doing. They are tearing down the old world based on liberty, based on Judeo-Christian principles, and establishing a tyranny, a godless tyranny over us. We could use some Captain Americas. God, please 
give us good righteous men and women not marvel comic book characters but good men and women who will fight for what is true and just with the self-sacrificing spirit of captain america